Hi, my name is Christopher Treach. I have here a classic guitar that I've been repairing and restoring. This one is ready for finish and uh, I'm going to do a super glue pour fill before I finish it. The reason being that I uh, repaired some cracks on the back. You'll see some darker streaks there. I used super glue to repair them so the surrounding wood was pour filled by the super glue. So if I pour fill the entire back then the color will be homogenous across and you won't be able to see that I repaired anything. Okay sides of the same wood as the back so I'm going to super glue pour fill them as well so that the wood matches. The finish I'm using is uh, True Oil which is a gunstock oil based finish and uh, I finished this guitar with True Oil so you can see what the finish looks like. Now the back of this guitar I did use a super glue pour fill but I didn't use it on the side so that you can get a little comparison. So you see the depth of the gloss and compared to the sides, it's similar. But if you're feeling it less smooth, you may be able to hear the difference from the back to the sides. Not as smooth. And I didn't completely fill the pores on the back. I only did two coats. You could keep using the super glue till it's completely filled. But um, the quality, the depth of the gloss, the quality of the finish, and how smooth it is, it's definitely better on the back where I did the super glue pore fill compared to the sides where I didn't pore fill. So you can do a A-B comparison with a piece of wood, super glue pour fill here, don't pour fill there, and then apply your finish and see if it makes a difference to you. I'm using glue boost fill and finish. Okay, I'm going to apply it just with a glove on my hand and I actually sanded this guitar with 220 grit sandpaper and I left all the dust on the guitar. So that dust is gonna help kind of fill the pores as well as I work the super glue in, okay. I also wear a respirator when I do this because the super glue kind of fumes are very strong and I wear goggles or goggles or glasses um, to kind of protect my eyes, protect my lungs. And uh, I also open a window behind me because like I said, the fumes are very strong. So while you're working it, try not to lean over the guitar, It'll make your eyes water and it'd be hard to breathe. So, you know, stay off to the side of the guitar, even lean back a little bit while you're working it. So you're not breathing in all those fumes or and making your eyes water. Okay, so this is how I do it.